Q. No, but here's your classic symptom to tell if it's one of these great lover fellows is they'll spend whole major blocks of time in bed going down on a lady's yin-yang over and over and making her come 17 straight times and such. But afterwards, just watch and see if there's any way on God's good green earth he's going to let her turn around and go down on his precious little pizzle for him. How he'll go, oh no, baby, no, let me do you. I want to see you come again, baby. Oh, baby, you just lie there and let me work my love magic and such like that right there. Or he'll know all his special Korean massage shit and give her deep tissue back rubs or haul out the special black cherry oil and massage her feet and hands. Which, darling, I got to admit, if you never had a quality hand massage, you have not heretofore even really lived, trust me. But will he let the little lady reciprocate and give him even just one back rub? No, sir, he will not. Because this type fella's whole trip is he's got to be the one giving the pleasure here. Thank you, ma'am. See, it's different. It's got a screw lid with an airtight seal so you don't smell up your pocket. They're stinky little boogers. And then it goes right in this little flap thing here where, why, it could be anything at all. Because this is where your smoothie type is being stupid. This is what gives me my contempt for these fellows that go around thinking they're the Lord's own gift to the female species. Because at least your cracker type's halfway honest about it. They want to nail her and then roll off and that's all she wrote. Whereas but your basic smoothie thinks he's all sensitive and knows how to please a lady just because they know clitoral suction and shiatsu and watching them in beds like watching one of these stupid ass mechanics in white coats work on a Porsche all swelled up on their expertise and such. They think they're a great lover. They think they're generous in bed. No, but the catch is that they're selfish about being generous. They're no better than the pig is. They're just sneakier about it. Now you're going to be thirsty. Now you're going to want you some Evian. This shit will dry out your mouth something fierce. I carry these little portable Evians with me here in this inside part. See? Custom made. Go on and take one. You're going to want it. Go on. Q. Darling, no problem. Hang on to it. You're going to want some more in about half a minute. I could have sworn you said you did this before. I hope I'm not corrupting a Utah Mormon here, am I? Mylar's better than foil. It reflects more of the light so it all goes right into the plant. They got special seeds now where the plant don't get any higher than this here, but it is lethal. It's death on a cracker. Atlanta in particular seems full of these fellows. What they don't understand is their type's an even worse drag for a lady with any sense than your on-and-off pig ever was. Because how do you like to just lie there and get worked on like a Porsche and never feel like you're generous and sexy and good in bed and a great lover too? Hmm? That's where your smoothie type fellas always lose the game. They want to be the only great lover in the bed. They forget a lady's got feelings too. Who wants to lie there feeling all ungenerous and greedy while some yuppie with a pore shows off his tantric clouds and rain half lotus on you and mentally notching off how many times you come? If you swish it around a little, your mouth will stay wet longer. Evian's real good for that. Who cares if it's a dumbass yuppie water or if it's really good? Know what I mean? The thing to watch for is if the fellow, when he's going down on you, if he keeps one hand in the lower part of your stomach there to make really sure you're coming, why then you'll know. Wants to make damn sure. This son of a bitch isn't a lover. He's just putting on a show. He doesn't give a shit about you. You want my opinion? You want to know how to really be great if you really want to please her? That there's not one fellow in a thousand that's figured it out? Do you? Q. The secret is you got to both give the little lady pleasure and be able to also take it, with equal technique to both and equal pleasure. Or at least you got to make her think so. Don't forget it's about her. Go on and eat her yin-yang till she begs, sure, go on, but also let her at your pizzle. And even if she's no prize at it, why you carry on and make her think she is. And like if her notion of a back rub's just some of those little pissant karate chops on your backbone, why you go on and let her, and you carry on like you never knew a karate chop could be like this. That's if a fellow wants to be a genuine great lover and go and think about her for one damn second. Q. Not on me, darling, no. I mean, I usually do, but I nibbled them up already, I'm afraid. The real fall-down of these wannabe-great type fellows is they think a lady is, when you come right down to it, dumb. Like all a lady wants to do is just lie there and come. The real secret is, assume she feels the same way as you. That she wants to see herself as a great lover that can blow the top of a man's head clean off in bed. Let her. Put your picture of yourself on the goddamn back burner for once in your life. 
The smoothies think if they blow the little lady's head off down there, they got her. Bullshit. Q. But you're not going to want just one, though, darling. Trust me. There's a little mart thing a couple blocks if we... Whoa, watch your... Q. No, you go on and make her think she's blowing your damn head off. That's what they really want. Then you really and truly got her if she thinks you'll never forget her. Never, ever. You follow?